In this lesson, we are going to find the volume of a comb using Pappas' centroid theorem. Okay, so I'm going to, we're going to, in order to do this, we're going to take this line, okay, and remember that we can take this line, rotate it around the x-axis, and that will give us the shape of a cone. And let's assume for this cone, Let's assume that it has a height of h and a radius of r. Okay, so that means, okay, down here, this is going to be h and at this point, this will be r. Okay. Um, so really that should be a line, so let me fix this. Okay, a little bit better. All right, so we're going to take this line, rotate around x-axis, and that's going to generate the cone. So in order to use Pappas' centroid theorem, what we need to do is we need to figure out, um, we need the centroid for this region. So let me just put a little x here. So we need to figure out where the centroid is, and then once we knew, once we know that, then we can uh, use the distance from the centroid to the axis of revolution, because that's the radius of the of this volume that we're generating. Okay. So recall that the um, that y bar is equal to the moment about x divided by the total mass. So we just need to use this one. We just need, since we just need to know the y coordinate, we need to know this distance here. So that corresponds to y bar. Okay, so just draw that in again. So this is y bar. All right. So we need to find the moment about x and the moment about y. Okay, so let's first find the, uh, sorry, we need to find the moment about x and the total mass. So let's first find the total mass. So the total mass, okay, is just going to be the integral. So it's the density times the integral from zero to h of, in this case, or for our function, this is just y equals to r over h times x. Where r over h is the slope of that line. Okay, so this is going to be r over h times x, okay, minus zero. Since zero is corresponding to the x-axis. So we're going to take the integral of this, and that's going to leave us with Okay, r over h is a constant, so that's going to give us 1 half x squared. We evaluate from 0 to h. Okay, so we get, plugging in h, we get this. That's going to simplify to give us 1 half rho times rh. So that is the total mass for this uh, for this particular region. So the next thing we need to do is we need to figure out the the moment about x. So recall that the moment about x is just one half the density times the integral from zero to h of f squared minus g squared. So in this case f f is the um, is the function of the line and the x-axis which is just y equals zero right that's just going to be zero okay all right so we get one half rho okay times the integral of r squared over h squared x squared and so we're going to integrate that from zero to h Okay, so we have one half rho. I can take out r squared h squared since it doesn't depend on x. 
Okay. So now this is going to give us one half rho times r squared over h squared. The integral of x squared is just one third x to the power three. Okay. And we're gonna get one half rho r squared over h squared times h cubed. Divided by three. So that's going to leave us with 1 6 rho r squared times h. Okay, so 1 6 rho times r squared times h. Okay, so that's the moment about x. So now we have, uh, so now we can find, we can find y bar. So y bar will be, we're going to take 1, 6 rho times r squared h divided by the total mass. So it's 1 half rho times r times h. So that's going to give us a 1 half over, or 1, 6 divided by 1 half. That will give us 1 third. The rows will cancel out as expected and heights will cancel out and that leaves us with one third r okay now we're going to apply Pappus's centroid theorem so we know y bar remember y bar is just the distance between the centroid and the x-axis and i'm so what i'm doing is i'm taking the again i'm taking this line and rotating around the x-axis and that would generate a, a cone all right, so so Pappus' centroid theorem says that you take to get the volume, you multiply, you take two pi times the the radius. So the radius of the volume that's being generated times the area. The area of the region. Okay, so we have 2 pi times the radius. We just found that that's y bar. That's going to be 1 third r. And the area, the area of this triangle is just 1 half times the base. The base is h times the height. The height of this is r. So simplifying this, this gives us 2 over 6, which is going to be 1 third pi. Times r squared h. And that gives you the volume of a cone. 